Hey everybody, this is Dan from Mechanical Malarkey. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a starter solenoid. There are many different models that this type of setup is common with a separate solenoid from the starter. I'm going to be doing it on my 1990 Ford F-250. It'll be very similar on many other models. Now because we're going to be disconnecting some positive cables, it's a good idea to disconnect the ground side of the battery so we don't accidentally ground out one of those positive cables. So on my truck, the starter solenoid is over here on the right inside fender, and it's set up with the starter signal wire on the top, the main power coming in on the right, the starter power going out on the left, and it does not use the starter signal ground because it grounds through the body into the fender. So we'll start by disconnecting the signal wire. This one has a 3 8 nut. And don't pay attention to the wiring colors and sizes on this truck, it's all kind of a big mess. Now I'll disconnect the power wires. These are half inch nuts on this one. Now I have two 5 16 bolts holding the solenoid onto the fender. There, old solenoid off. Now the new solenoid installed in the same orientation is also marked with an S for which is the starter signal, which is this one on top, just like before. Now take off the nuts and washers. And put all the wires back on where they came from. I have a lot of wires on this one post, so it might be hard to get the lock washer and the nut on there, but it's always good to try. Now the starter power wire. And lastly, the starter signal wire. Now to just reconnect the battery and test that it works. Uh, 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, follow me on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and read the blog at mechanicalmalarkey.com. Thanks for watching.